What's going on, everybody? All right, so it's a little windy, but uh, been out doing some yard work today and thought uh, I'd go ahead and show you all this. I've, I've made some improvements on the water trough. Now, don't mind the grass. I'm going to break it out. There's my hand. I just, just got through mowing, so I blew some blew some grass down in there but otherwise it stays pretty clean for the most part and what i just done will help it out now last video that i showed you all i was talking about how <clears throat> i was going to dig it out in the front that way they could actually get all the way up to it and drink it down farther uh so i did that and uh like in the other video i said it's very rocky but what i done was dug this out so they can get up to it where, it, where they should be instead of having to stand over top of it at the edge and drink down in. Now this will make it easier for them to get up in. Now, <clears throat> I, I took some advice from uh, someone that, that told me that I may want to put a uh, overflow, which I hadn't even, I hadn't even thought about that, but I did that and another remedy for the mud situation. Well, that's one remedy for the mud situation. But all that rock that I dug out, all the flat, that's just flat sandstones all it is, so it'll break down over time. But I took the flat and laid it down in there and made kind of a little pad so they ain't just tromping in that mud right now. Now granted, there's the rest of it's kind of whatever, but I think it'll work It'll work all right and that's, that'll solve a couple problems anyways. But uh, it's working. I. I from what I can tell, it hasn't overflowed. We've got a couple pretty good rains. And there's been a couple times I've turned the water on to let it drain down in there and then went off and done other things I needed to get done. And from the way it looked, it didn't drain. Now, the trick part is this will work. This will work all right. Uh, as you can see, I just took a, a bulkhead and a, a fitting as a half inch fitting to, uh, I think the water hose fitting is three quarter of an inch so the half inch screwed into the bulkhead the three quarter inch is what the uh water hose screwed onto and then the water hose i just ran it down into the field but with that being said i don't know if y'all did you see how small the opening is And my main concern is that, like this stuff getting down in it and causing it to, but I'll rake most of that out. But when, when sheep eat, they're gonna drop a little bit of grass here and there in it. And I'm afraid that's gonna clog that up, but it's working and now it's starting to rain. So I'm gonna have to cut this extra short. Let's do it. On, oh, yeah, here we go. Go up here. Put a shovel in here. <laughs> oh, might have been a quick one. Try not to get my hind end shocked on the fence, bend it over. Spud bar. But it works. Uh, hopefully, it. Uh, that doesn't get clogged up too quick. Cause I mean, it's, I don't even know if I can get my thumb in it, but yeah, got that done for the most part. We'll see how it goes. But uh, if y'all watching this, like and subscribe, you know, any advice, I take it. Whether I do it or not is up in the air, but I, I do listen. As you can tell, the one comment I had on this, I went ahead and put that little overflow in. But yeah, that's all I got. Later.